Amen. It's good to be in God's house one more time. And I just thank him and praise him for giving me another day, Brother Kenneth. Thank him and praise him, you know, for, for what he's doing. And, and Amen. Just for for the plan of salvation, you know, thank him and praise him for that. You know, he could have called anybody else, Brother Kenneth, but, but amen, he seemed fit to call you and I and each and every one of us, you know, to just have a small part, you know, in his work here in these last days. And, and amen, sometimes we take for granted, amen, what the Lord has done for us and, and amen, and truly what that precious blood has done for us. And, but amen, I'm not real sure how this is going to go, amen, but we're going to be in the book of Genesis uh, this morning, chapter 3. Amen. I'll try not to keep you too long. It's all the Lord's time anyway, but, but amen. With the help of the Lord, I'm just trying to bring out, you know, what he would have. And, you know, it's most important to me, you know, it just, you know, let God's will be done. And, but amen. And everybody knows these little passages of Scripture. Amen. It talks about the fall of man and things, but. But amen, with the help of the Lord this morning, in the book of Genesis chapter 3, just starting at verse 1 here, it says, Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field and which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but of the but of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, God had, God had said, Ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And, you know, I begin to think about that just right there. There's a few moments, Brother Kenneth, this morning, you know, as I was sitting there reading it, amen. And, you know, God specifically tells us, Brother Kenneth, in the Word of God, amen, that there's a fruit out there, amen, that a, a person should not touch or eat or have anything to do with, Brother Kenneth. And, and amen, you're looking at a day and time, amen, as Sister Jen was saying, there's many out there, Brother Kenneth, and, amen, they're searching for peace and comfort, amen, and, amen, in other words, amen, they're searching everywhere, Brother Kenneth, and, amen, for some kind of fruit, amen, to fill that, their void, in other words, and, and amen, I begin to think about that right there, amen, God specifically told, amen, Eve, and amen, and no doubt Adam knew too, and amen, of what, you know, what fruit it was, you know, not to eat of, and amen, how many times, amen, if God came by my way, I'll put it on my shoulders, amen, and tell me, hey, you know, stay away from this, amen, and even the word says, you know, to taste not and touch not, Brother Kenneth, but amen, how the devil will come, amen, so subtle, Brother Kenneth. Kenneth, hey amen, and he'll put pretty things in front of you, hey amen, and try to get you to latch a hold of. <laughs> And amen, how many knows, amen, once we reach out and grab a hold of it, Brother Kenneth, and amen, we open the doors up, amen, to some bad fruit, amen, that we shouldn't, you know, grab a hold of or taste it of, but amen, there's fruit out there, amen, that God, amen, commands, amen, us to stay away of, and amen, there's fruit, amen, that he expects us to bring forth, Brother Kenneth. And amen, I believe if there was a day and hour, Brother Kenneth, amen, that a child of God should begin to show that fruit, amen, I'm talking about the good fruit, amen, begin to tell them, amen, about Jesus, amen, and what the blood of Jesus done for you, amen, it's now. Amen, because all you got to do is just take and look around, Brother Kenneth. Amen, there's many out there just searching. Amen, they're, they're running to and fro. Amen, to try to fill that empty void, amen, that's in their heart. But amen, there's only one thing, amen, that's going to fill that and satisfy that void. And amen, that's having that personal race relationship, amen, with Jesus. But, amen, you, you see them, Brother Kenneth, they're out there, they're miserable. <laughs> Hey man, and they they just run themselves ragged. Hey man, trying to fill. Hey man, that void that's on the inside of them. Hey man, but they're running. Hey man, to a lot of the wrong fruit, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, I believe if there ever was a time. Hey man, even as a child of God. Hey man, we gotta be careful. Hey man, we gotta be aware of our surroundings and things. 
hey man of what we allow hey man what what we partake in in other words hey man what fruit we grab a hold of and begin to take a bite of hey man why because the enemy hey man he's out for one purpose brother Kenneth hey man that's to steal kill and destroy and hey man if he, he thinks he can put a fruit out in front of us hey man and you something that'll entice you and to drag you in hey man he's gonna do it Hey man, and he'll even come right down. Hey man, taking the question way he done Eve right here. Hey man, and pretty much turn it and using it against her. Hey man, in other words, hey man, he'll do what he has to do. Hey man, to try to deceive you. Hey man, it may look good, brother Kenneth. It may sound right, right but hey man, if we truly, hey man, heed to what God is saying. Hey man, we'll know the difference. Hey man, we'll know what fruit is from God. Hey man, and we'll know what fruit the bad fruit is that the enemy is trying to throw our way. But, amen, we have to be careful. And, amen, the Bible goes on to say, Brother Kenneth, that they took a hold of that fruit and began to eat, Brother Kenneth. And, amen, not only Eve, but also gave it to Adam. Amen, and he also ate. And, amen, and, of course, amen, the blame game begun. Amen, pointing fingers, amen, at everybody else. But, amen, I'm here to tell you, amen, when we make a decision, amen, just like it was Eve's decision, amen, to eat of that fruit, it was Adam decision to eat of that fruit brother Kenneth hey man yes the the devil was there trying to entice them and things but hey man it's ultimately our choice brother Kenneth hey man we have that choice hey man that God give us hey man of what kind of fruit hey man we eat of hey man whether I eat of this word of God hey man or I eat the things of the world but hey man I'm here to tell you the things of the world and what is that what it has to offer hey man I'll leave you empty Hey man, it'll leave you left for dead, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, but I'm here to encourage you this morning. Hey man, be aware, hey man, of the fruit and things that's out there, hey man, in the world. Hey man, because every fruit out there, Brother Kenneth, hey man, it's not meant, hey man, for a child of God to eat. Hey man, I, I begin to thank Brother Kenneth. And, hey man, they begin to blame one another. Hey man, well, God, it, it was the woman that you gave me. It was her fault. Hey man, but hey man, in all reality this morning, hey man, we have a choice, Brother Kenneth. And, Hey man, I can't point fingers at, at anybody else because, hey man, I, I made a decision to eat bad fruit. Hey man, what they should have done, Brother Kenneth, I believe, would just had a big mirror somewhere. Hey man, and the problem, it would have been staring them in the face. Hey man, I can't blame anybody else, hey man, for the fruit I bear, Brother Kenneth. But hey man, it's time, hey man, that I take responsibility. Hey man, for me. Hey man, just as you, hey man, you have to bear your own responsibility. Hey man, for the fruit that you bear. Hey man, for the fruit that you eat. Hey man, whether good or bad, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, where there's going to be a price, hey man, when this life is over, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, of the fruit we've bared. Hey man, and what we've done. But hey man, we got all the fruit, Brother Kenneth, right here in this Word of God. Hey man, it'll take us, Brother Kenneth, and keep us. Hey man, it's more than enough to sustain us, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, until the end. Hey man, whether we're alive and well when Jesus comes. Hey man, or do we go by the grave. Hey man, I want to be one of those, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, that's barren and eating of the good fruit. Hey man, that God has. Hey man, because I don't want to be out there. Hey man, eating the worldly fruit and things, and hey man, and come up short. Hey man, in these last days. Hey man, and you see it a lot today, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, all you got to do is sit around and watch and, and pay attention. Hey man, I don't know if it's just the they, they feel conviction or what it is. 
But, amen, they try to hide, Brother Kenneth, just the way they did right here. Amen. Adam and Eve, amen, they sold the fig leaves together and covered themselves. Amen. Because once they messed up, Brother Kenneth, amen, and realized, amen, that they took of the fruit, amen, that God told them not to, amen, the Bible said that their eyes were open to it. Amen. And the Bible says, amen, that they realized they were naked. Amen. Something that they didn't even see before, Brother Kenneth. Amen. And until sin entered in. Amen. And they began to sew fig leaves and aprons together to try to cover, amen, the very thing. Amen. Their nakedness and things. Tried to cover up the sin they just committed. But amen. The Bible says, amen, there's only one thing. Amen. That'll take the sins of the world away, Brother Kenneth. Amen. And that's the very blood of Jesus being applied. Amen. I can run to and fro. Amen. All I want to to try to cover and hide things. But amen. I'm not going to hide it, Brother Kenneth. Amen. I can't just sweep it under the rug. But amen. I got to go have an avid with the Father. Amen. If I mess up, amen, it's only one thing, amen, that'll cover me, and that's that precious blood of Jesus. Amen. Here, I believe it was the beginning, Brother Kenneth. Amen. Of that precious blood. Amen. You see, God came down, Brother Kenneth, and the Bible says that he sold him. Amen. And made them clothing. Amen. Out of skin. Amen. In other words, amen. I believe whether it's an animal or whatever it was, Brother Kenneth. Amen. Something had to die, Brother Kenneth. Amen. There were blood shed right here in the very beginning. Amen. Amen. I believe, amen, that blood, amen, that was shed on the cross, amen, is still, amen, the only thing, Brother Kenneth, amen, that'll wash our sins away, amen, and make us white as snow. And amen, I thought about, amen, as Sister Jen was talking about Cain and Abel over here in chapter 4. Amen. Abel's sacrifice and things, Brother Kenneth, was accepted. But amen, Cain's was rejected. But amen, God gave Cain an opportunity, Brother Kenneth. Amen, to reaccept, amen, and to reoffer up. But amen, God told him, if not, sin lieth at the door. And amen, the Bible tells me, amen, that that Cain rose up, amen, and he slew Abel. Amen, and the Bible says, amen, that God came down, Brother Kenneth, to Abel, or to Cain, and asked him, amen, where his brother was. Amen, and simply he said, am I my brother's keeper? Amen. And in 410 over here, it says, And he said, What hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the earth. You see, amen, they can take your life, Brother Kenneth. But amen, there's something about the blood, Brother Kenneth. You know, they can kill this mortal body. But amen, right here, there's still life in the blood. Amen, there's just something about the blood, Sister Nikki. Amen, there's life in it, Brother Kenneth. Amen, there's power in that precious blood. Amen, and you can go on over into Exodus chapter 12. Amen, where the Bible says, amen, about the blood plied to the doorpost, amen, and the lintel, amen, and that was their only protection, Brother Kenneth, amen, that was their only safety from death was what was coming, but amen, they had special command, Brother Kenneth, amen, to stay inside the house, amen, where the blood was applied, amen, to the doorpost, Hey man, you see, we're living in a day and time, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, many, hey man, know to do right. Hey man, they know where their prison help comes from, but they want to step outside the door. Hey man, I'm here to tell you this morning, hey man, don't step outside that blood. Hey man, especially in this day and hour which we live. Amen. Because, hey man, it's getting late, Brother Kenneth, I believe. Hey man, I believe if there ever was a time. Hey, man, that midnight is upon us. I believe it's getting close, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, the, Jesus told the disciples it's nine even at the door. Hey, man, so I know we're right there. And, hey, man, the Bible promises, hey, man, that those that will do her to the end, 
Amen. We shall be saved. You know, I really enjoyed the, the Sunday school teaching and things this morning. It's so true. Amen. You see many popular ministers and even, you know, on TBN or whatever it may be. Amen. Spend a, a 30 years on trying to figure out when Jesus is coming back. It's so true. But amen, during that time, hey man, look what has what, just been swept by. Hey man, look the family members that may have needed help and came by their way, but they were too busy, hey man, studying and, and wanting to know when Jesus is coming back. Hey man, that they let 30 years, hey man, just, just slip right on by. Hey man, neglected, in other words, hey man, what God has begun, you know, to do in them. But hey man, but somewhere along the way, they got tied up in just one thing. Hey man, and spent a lifetime doing it. Hey man, I want to be like Brother Steve said this morning. Hey man, whenever he comes back, hey man, whenever that may be, hey man, I just want to be ready and prepared. Hey man, if he tarries a little while, well, I want to be like the five wise and have enough oil, hey man, to last me. Hey man, until that cry is made. Hey man, and we go in to meet him. Hey man, too many times people's got tied up in different doctrines and things, Brother Kenneth, uh, trying to figure this out, uh, trying to figure that out. Hey man, and all along God says, you know, don't try to figure it out. Hey man, you just live today. Hey man, for tomorrow, we're about let you know tomorrow will take care of itself. But hey man, too many times, hey man, we try to figure things out. Hey man, and God's already got it in plan for you. Hey man, it's already set in stone. Hey man, it's all you my my life is done being written out. Hey, man, he knows my beginning, my end. Hey, man, he knows the middle. Hey, man, he's already got it planned. It's already laid out. Hey, man, you see, hey, man, over 2,000 years ago, the foundation was laid, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, for me. Hey, man, the foundation was laid for you. And hey, man, and whosoever shall believe and call upon his name. Hey, man, the Bible says they shall be saved, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, in the very night I began to call upon him, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, and that precious blood was applied. Hey, man, it was up to me, amen, on how I build on that foundation. Hey, man, what kind of fruit I'm building on that foundation. Hey, man, I can't build on your foundation. You can't build on mine. But, hey, man, it's that personal relationship. Hey, man, because it's going to be tried, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, of what sort it is. Hey, man, but those that only endure to the end will be saved. Hey, man, I want to be, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, one of the few. Hey, man, that walk that straight and narrow way. Hey, man, there's a whole lot out there, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, following that wide, broad way. But, hey, man, the word even tells me, hey, man, there's only going to be a few, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, whatever number, hey, man, few means, hey, man, to God, I don't know. But, hey, man, if I'm the last one in those pearly gates, Brother Kenneth, hey, man, thank God I made it. But, hey, man, I believe if there was a time, hey, man, that we should show the lost, Hey, man, Jesus. Hey, man, it is now. Hey, man, begin to expound the word to them. Hey, man, begin to tell them about a man. Hey, man, that came by your way one night and came by my way one night. Hey, man, I was on my way, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, to a devil's hell, pretty much dead. Hey, man, without God. Hey, man, and I remember him knocking up on my heart's door, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, I went down one way but came up another. Hey, man, that holy collision took place. And hey, man, and I believe truly deep down, deep inside, 
Hey, man, many that are running from God, hey, man, they know. But, hey, man, it, they have a choice. It's their choice. And, hey, man, I pray many, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, especially in this day and hour where we live. Hey, man, would come back and have that holy collision. Hey, man, you can just sit and look and watch them. Hey, man, they're just in misery. Hey, man, 24-7 torment. Why? Because a piece they once failed, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, it's gone. Hey, man, they made a decision somewhere along the line, Sister Nikki. Hey, man, to step outside of that blood. Hey, man, to step outside, amen, of that doorpost. And, hey, man, of course, when you step outside of that blood, hey, man, there's only one thing waiting on them. And, hey, man, that's death, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, because when sin is finished, it brings forth death. Hey, man, it brings forth death. But, amen, I'd like to encourage you this morning. Hey, man, to abide and stay inside the house. Hey, man, stay in. Hey, man, God strictly gave them orders. Hey, man, to, to have that blood applied and stay in the house. And, hey, man, there's one thing in particular. Hey, man, when God and that destroyer showed up on the scene, there's only one thing, hey, man, that God paid attention to. And, hey, man, that's that precious blood that was applied. And, hey, man, and when he looks at a child of God, Brother Kenneth, hey, man, he always sees, hey, man, if that blood is applied. Hey, man, that's all God looks at, hey, man, this morning. Hey, man, whether that precious blood is applied or not. Hey, man, it never was intended, hey, man, for a person to get saved and then jump back right back outside. Hey, man, I don't believe that, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, but it was meant, hey, man, to get the blood applied, hey, man, and stay, hey, man, inside that house. Hey, man, his house. Hey, man, stay in the body of Christ. Hey, man, that God put you in. Hey, man, the very place he put you. Hey, man, I've talked to many here in the past little while. Hey, man, they even tell me. Hey, man, God's put me here. God's put me there. And hey, man, I run over here and run over there and don't feel nothing. I simply told them, I said, stay where God has put you. Hey, man, if God has specifically planted you somewhere, hey, man, I tell them, hey, you don't uproot or move from it. Hey, man, and you ain't going to find true peace, hey, man, until you get back inside the house where God has planted you. Hey, man, I don't care what church, hey, man, you can run to. Hey, man, or, or what denomination. Hey, man, whatever it may be. Hey, man, if you're white, black, pink, or yellow. Hey, man, there's only one thing, hey, man, that God looks at. Is the blood, Brother Kenneth. Is the blood this morning. Hey, man, I've had many offers in the past little while come my way. But, hey, man, it paints a real pretty picture, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, but I got to stay where God is planting me, Brother Kenneth. Hey, man, I've had some come to me many times. Hey, man, I made a real good offer, Brother Kenneth. But, hey, man, it would cause me to uproot out of this place where God has planted me. And I told them, no thanks. But, hey, man, I'm going to stay, hey, man, where God has put me. Hey, man, and eat, hey, man, from the good fruit. Hey, man, why? Because I believe God's table. Hey, man, just like each and every one here. Hey, man, that table is prepared here for you. Hey, man, I can't uproot and go somewhere else, Brother Kenneth, and eat from their table. Hey, man, no doubt, hey, man, they may be good fruit there. But, hey, man, if I go to being and eat from that fruit, hey, man, what about my fruit that I left here? Hey, man, we got to be careful this morning. Hey, man, because trust me, hey, man, the devil knows it's real short. Hey, man, and he'll try, hey, man, with everything in him. Hey, man, he'll take these worldly goods and throw them out in front of you. Hey, man, and make it look like it's of God. But, hey, man, we better be careful this morning. Hey, man, what we begin to grab a hold of. Hey, man, and what fruit. 
hey man, we allow, hey man, because every fruit that's out there is not for you and I to eat. But hey man, there's a specific table, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, it's spread. Hey man, the doors are wide open, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, the door's been open. Hey man, since we got born again, hey man, I believe God has opened that doorway. Hey man, and when, when God opens that door, the Bible says that no man can shut it. But hey man, what scares me once the door is shut. When God shuts the door, hey man, the Bible says that no man can open it. Hey man, that's a scary thing, Brother Kenneth. And, and hey man, I definitely don't want the good Lord. Hey man, shutting his grace and mercy up on me. Hey man, I don't want to be separated, Brother Kenneth. And, hey man, from ever feeling even his conviction when I mess up. Hey man, why? Because it's that conviction, Brother Kenneth. Hey man, it leads me right back. Hey man, to the throne room of God. Hey man. But amen, make a decision today, amen, to stay. Amen. Yes, no doubt, amen. There's many other churches, amen. As Sister Amy even said many times, there are many churches that she passes by. And no doubt, they're probably not, not a thing in the world wrong with them. Amen. But amen, is it where God wants you? And you know, I... I, I I often wondered sometimes, Brother Kenneth, and I worry about that passage of Scripture of many casting out devils. Hey, man, done great and many mighty works in God's name, many signs and wonders. But, hey, man, in the end, they come up short. Hey, man, and I think about that a lot of times, no doubt, but I believe it's a lot of times where people uproot and go do their own thing whether it's starting their own church, their own ministry, or whatever it is. But they somewhere along the way have uprooted and got out of God's will from where God has put them. And, hey amen, I believe there's be many that fall. Hey amen, no doubt God's moving in their church and things. Hey amen, because of the people, Brother Kenneth. But, hey amen, I truly believe in the end, if God has placed you in a particular place, Hey man, and you leave this world. Hey man, and other in the place that God had planted you in. Hey man, where will we be? Hey man, when we stand before Him. Hey man, that's how important it is. Hey man, to stay and eat. Hey man, where He has put you, where He's planted you. Hey man, and glean the very best way you know how from that field He's put you in. Hey man. To stay where God has put you. And amen. And be careful. Be cautious. Amen. That the fruit is how that, that shows up or it lies out before you. Amen. Because every fruit is not meant for you and I to eat of. Amen. But if we all would, we'd find us a place to pray this morning. And just continue to pray for all those that's lost their way. That they'll have an opportunity. Amen. And time to get back in and rooted and grounded. Amen. Where they need to be in God.